Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome back to our course Learn to Read Quran. We are now on our second lesson so last time we had a look at the alphabet so hopefully everybody's had a chance to go through the alphabet and maybe watch the class a few times just so that they can actually try and start to remember and put the shape to the sound of the of the name of the letter. So today we're going to have a look at the next page in your document, if hopefully you've had a chance to print it out or at least download it, you've got the alphabet practice page. So here on this page, and remember Arabic is read from right to left, so we're going to start from here. Sorry, I actually need a colour, don't I? Yes, let's take that away. We're going to start from here and we're going to move in that direction. So first of all here, now what I'm hoping is that you will Give yourself a chance to think what you think the letter is. So I'm going to pause between each of the letters. So before I say it, you have a go at recognising what the letter is as well. So we'll start here. Have a think. What do you think it is? Remember, it's in red. So that's going to be one of those thick, heavy letters, isn't it? So this is what I sometimes call the king of all the Arabic alphabet letters because it's potentially one of the most difficult to say. But don't let that put you off. I don't want to put you put you off at all. This is the letter Dod. And this is using the back of the tongue, not the tip of the tongue at all. It's the back of the tongue on the roof of the mouth. Dod. Okay. So let's move on. What's this letter here, everybody? Have a think. What's the clue? There you've got the, the waves of the sea. You've got the stones on the shore, the pebbles on the shore. Yes, this is the letter Sheen. Next letter is, there's the clue, isn't it? That's the sun up at high noon, so this is noon. Next one here, Ra. What's this one here, everybody? There's our dot of jam. This is Jeem. Next one here, Off. Then we've got the letter Hamza. Remember I said that we had this in the in the first lesson where we weren't going to really say too much about it, we were just going to recognise it. Then we've got Elif. Now this letter, Z. So I'm going to go through now and I'm going to read all the letters here on the second line and I'm going to give a pause between each of them and hopefully you'll be able to double check whether you're getting them right or not. Rain. Ha. Ha. Va. This one here is that tied up ter, so this is ter. Just think of it as a ter for now because those are the two dots that tell us this is a ter. Wow. Then. Yeah. Ba. Let's move on. We're on line three. Kerf. See, there's a little, it's a kangaroo letter, isn't it? That's our little Joey in the pouch. Kerf. Ter. Lam Ba Ain Seen Dal Ha Let's move to line four Fa Fa Sod. Yeah, it's in red, so it's going to be that thick, heavy sound. Meme. Ha. Calf. Raw. Ta. Remember we said it looks a little bit different. It is a ta marbuta. It is a tied up ta, but let's just call it a ta for now. Line five, everyone. Sh. 
machine. Jim. Po. Ta. Noon. Dod. Off. Lamb. Line six. Then. Fair. So these two letters here, this one, first one. Then. Is the tongue through the teeth and noise is flowing through it. This one here, fair, is the tongue through the teeth again, but this time there's lots of air that flows through it. So be careful to get those two qualities on the right letter, otherwise one will sound like the other. So I'll start from the beginning of the line again. So this one was then, fair, fair. Rain. And this is that gargling sound. Seen. Yeah. Bear. Ha. This letter, ha, that we've got, some people do struggle with that one. And the, the this letter is at the top of the throat. And the letter that's above it, right at the back of the mouth, is the letter off, this one. So if you say off, and then feel, you need to go underneath that in your throat to get this letter, ha. So, off, ha. So that's how you position this letter here, ha, if you struggle. Okay, we are on the final line of this unit, so the final bit of this lesson. Elif. Za. Kef, mean, ha, dal, ain, ba, noon. So there we go. We have completed the alphabet practice page. Have a listen back. If you think you need a bit more practice, go back to the first lesson. If you think, oh my gosh, I got too many of those wrong and reconfirm and re-solidify and re-consolidate your learning so that when you go on to the next lesson, you have come from a solid base and you've now got a solid base and understanding of the Arabic alphabet, how you pronounce it and how to recognize it. So well done. And inshallah, I look forward to seeing you next time for lesson three. Assalamu alaikum, everyone.